you know, the world of English is a fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you could join me for another lesson. I've been expecting you. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. In this lesson, we will look at using words to show the way something looks or appears, or to put it another way, describing things. Whenever we look at something, our eyes see it and our brain tells us what it is we are looking at. However, all of this is a silent process and there is no way of letting someone else know what it is we are observing or later telling them what it was we were looking at. Spoken language gives us the power to not only communicate our thoughts but also to describe the things we see around us. There are some basic rules when it comes to describing something. We need to clearly express what it was we saw or what it is we are looking at. To do this, we need to tell the other person about the characteristics or obvious parts of the things we see or saw. We need to tell them the size, the shape, the color, and what it is made from. These are not fixed rules and they do not all have to be said. Although, the more information you can give will make the description much clearer. It is possible to describe anything, and even the most basic or dull objects can be described. Take this object, for example. If I wanted to describe this, I would say that it is wide and tall. It is flat and goes both vertically and horizontally. It is hard and solid. In this situation the colour is not really important because we are only interested in the shape. Of course, it's a wall. A person who could not see this would easily know that I was describing a wall. This is a basic example of how useful it is to be able to clearly describe something to another person using English. Let's look at another object. Take a good look at this. Now, try to describe it using English. What size is it? What colour is it? What shape is it? What can you do with it? From these four descriptions, we should be able to describe the object clearly enough for it to be recognised or identified. There are many types of words that you can use to describe things. First of all, let's look at some ways of describing size. Big Small Long Short wide, narrow, thick, thin. Describing definite shape. Round, square, oval, triangular, bent, curved, oblong, cylindrical, cubed, octagonal. Describing something by what it is made from or of. It's wooden. It's plastic. 
It's metallic. It is made of glass. It is made of cloth. It is organic. It is made of stone. It is made from milk. It is made from wheat. Something that sits flat or is wide can be described as horizontal. For example, the top of this cupboard sits horizontally. An object that is upright can be described as vertical. For example, these curtains hang vertically. A good way of improving your English is to get used to describing objects around you. Take a look around the place where you are sitting now. There must be many things that you can describe nearby. The good thing about this exercise is that you can do it on your own or with others in a group. You can even play a game together. Follow me and I'll show you. First of all, write down the names of some everyday objects onto small pieces of paper and then fold them up. Ask one member of your group to pick out a piece of paper and look at what is written on it. Now that person must describe the object to the rest of the group without saying what it is. You must use as many words as possible to describe the object, but do not make it too easy for them. Here is an example. Okay, here is my word. It is small. It is long. It is sometimes yellow, sometimes it's green. It can be eaten. It is bent. Well done. You've got it. Of course, we do not always need to explain or illustrate the appearance of an object, but if we do not know the noun that goes with it, then we have no choice but to describe the thing in visual detail, or as it appears to the eyes. So describing is not the same as naming. One is telling us how it looks, and the other is saying what it actually is. Describing things is a great way of expanding your word power, and it is also a cool way to get used to speaking English in front of a group of people. The world in which we live is a wonderful and vibrant place, and being able to express what you see around you in English will give you a great new skill, or as we like to say in English, another string to your bow. That is all from me for today. Thank you for watching me teaching you. This is Mr. Duncan in England saying ta-ta for now.